Hi, my name is Seb and welcome to Solana Staking, everything you need to know for beginners. What is staking? Staking is where you assign your voting rights to a special Solana computer called a validator and earn a return of about 6-7% per year. Voting rights are simply the ability to vote on a transaction. They are used by the validator to vote if a transaction was a good or bad transaction. Solana is called a proof of stake blockchain and allows for 50,000 transactions per second. As a comparison, Ethereum can do about 15 transactions per second, and Ethereum is called a proof-of-work blockchain. What is delegating? Delegating just means assigning your voting rights of your soul to a validator. It's super simple, as we'll cover shortly. All staked soul is delegated. So basically, staked and delegated mean the same thing. Is staking soul safe? Yes. The Solana software has been audited, which is where computer engineers check the program code by a company called Kuldelsky, which is a leading cybersecurity firm. You can always withdraw your stake from the validator, and it is impossible for a validator to ever take your soul. They never have your soul, only the voting rights, which you can withdraw at any stage. Let me show you how to stake Solana. You can do this with the Phantom Wallet, Soulflare Wallet, Ledger Wallet, and other wallets as well. Here I have some Solana in my wallet. All we have to do is just click on Solana. If it's your first time staking Solana, you'll see this banner. If you're already staking Solana, you'll see your stake and it'll list the accounts. Let's click on it and we can see all of the stakes. I'll show you how to add a new one. Go to the plus button and click stake soul. Now we have to choose a validator. If you're new to picking a validator, there's a couple of things you need to know. Stakeview.app and validators.app are good guides to help you choose one. Some tips to find a good validator. They should be an honest validator, they should have support, they should help educate, and they should be a smaller validator and help decentralize the network. Big validators such as Certus One or Everstake or Chorus One or Staking Facilities, Bison Trails, etc. I would never stake with. My two favorite validators are DIX, which stands for DGEN Infrastructure Core Services, and Genesis Go. These are the validators that I'm delegating to. Let's validate with DIX. You can see the commission amount, 7%. The total stake is just over 44,000. And there are 237 unique delegators. Ideally, we'd like this about 100 to 200,000 soul. Now let's go delegate. In the amount section, we can put in an amount or push max. I like to leave a little bit of Solana in my wallet for gas. So I'm just going to do 5.9 and then click stake. And now I'm staking soul. What are the different phases of staking? The first stage is activating. Your stake will be activating until the end of the epoch. At soulstake.io, we have a nice visualization of how long the epoch is. And the definition of epoch is just a period of time in computing. In Solana, this period of time is normally about 2.5 to 3 days. It can be a little bit less or a little bit more. As we can see with this visualization, we're currently on epoch 254. We're 31% through the epoch. And our stake will be activating for about another one day and 21 hours and 18 minutes. When this green bar gets to the end, then all of a sudden our stake will be active. These two stakes at the bottom are both active. They are both earning Solana rewards. And at the end of each epoch, so about two and a half days, they are paid out their rewards. The rewards go directly to your staking account. Let's have a look at this one. These are the rewards just here. Please note, Phantom only shows you the most recent rewards. Soulstake.io shows you all of the rewards. Also note that each stake account has a rent reserve. It's a very small amount of Solana and it's returned to you whenever you choose to unstake. If I want to unstake, all I need to do is just click on unstake. Soul has unstaked. Now we have a new phase which is deactivating. This deactivating phase will continue until the end of the epoch and then it will show inactive. This is an example of an inactive stake. Once it says inactive, we can then withdraw the Solana to our wallet. It's not automatic, we do have to click withdraw stake. So let me click withdraw stake, and my soul has been withdrawn. I'll go back to my wallet, and you can see I have more Solana right here. If you have an inactive stake and you wish to restake it, all you have to do is click on the three little dots, and then click on restake. We're now staking our soul again. 
and as you can see, it's now activating. Let's have a look at soulstake.io so we can see all of our rewards. Click Use Soulstake. We can connect our wallet, or we can copy our address, paste it, and in a few seconds, we'll see all of our delegations. Click on the arrow, it shows us the reward and the epoch. This is a brand new address, so it's only showing the rewards for one epoch. I'll show you a different address, a random address, which has been staking for longer. You can check any address on the blockchain. This will just take a few moments to load. This here is a random address that's staking Solana. As you can see, it's been staking for quite a bit of time, so if we click on this drop down box, we can see the reward it gets every epoch. 253, 252, and so on. And that's how you check your rewards. When you need all your transactions for bookkeeping or tax purposes, just come to stake.tax and click on Sol and paste your address and click search. This will not take very long, but it'll put all of the information into an Excel spreadsheet for you. It is better accounting if you keep all of your staking in one wallet and use other wallet addresses for things such as farming, NFTs, etc. Summary. Staking is what is good for you as you earn a reward. It's good for the validators. It improves Solana and helps with decentralization. You can stake a small amount of Solana, such as 0.1 Sol or 1 Sol, etc., or a large amount of Sol as well. The rewards are automatically compounded, and if you need access to your funds, you can unstake and then withdraw at the end of the epoch, so a maximum of about two and a half to three days. My favorite validator is a DGEN Infrastructure Core Services validator. They need more stake, they need more delegators, and they're doing a lot of good work for the Solana ecosystem. So make sure you support them. Their commission is 7%, which is quite low as well. And just remember, when you're looking at the commission, that's just 7% of the rewards. If you stake 100 Solana, and in a year, let's say you earn 7 Solana, you still get 93% of the rewards. Only 7% of the rewards actually goes to the validator. And that's Solana Staking 101. Are you staking your Solana? Are you helping the network? Let me know in the comments below. And please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. This educational tutorial was proudly brought to you by The Grape Protocol, the number one Solana community builder. Thanks for watching. Cheers.